Uh, here at Old Wood Mark, we're showing you a very nice example of bird's eye maple. It's a high boy dresser. Um, it's got a bow front to it. Seems to be all original finish. And it's also got a real nice decorative little mirror to it. Uh, swivels. And um, kind of a modified sort of a Queen Anne little skirt there. Um, the front finish is just great. The poles seem to be original. And uh, we're going to get show you here what uh, some of the photographs aren't quite able to do is, is the, the quality and the condition of it. Um, now we'll give you the size here. Uh, we're looking at, I don't know, it doesn't quite say, 33 inches wide, 22 in depth, and it's probably about 74 inches high uh, with the mirror. Um, let's see, you know, the drawers. Thing you're looking for in drawers that makes it nice is is dovetailing. These drawers are dovetailed, a little sturdy. They glide real well. Now, whether you find it a, a, uh, a plus or not, but uh, the the drawers have these drawers have been lined with shelf paper. While it's not attractive, perhaps initially. Once you peel back the shelf paper, what you'll find is that the, the shelf paper did what it was supposed to do, which was protect the inside of the drawer uh, from scraps and, and from damage and um, you know, just different types of, of issues. So you can see that, that nice shape along the front of the drawer there too. So. That'll be your decision whether you want to keep the shell paper in or not for, um, for practical reasons, but it's, it's still a very strong, sturdy dresser. And the shell paper has, has kept it in good shape on the inside. Look at that nice, nice bow front shape. The finish on the, uh, on the piece is just really terrific. The, the bird's eye is just, it's, very, very pronounced, more than most. And again, the poles do seem to be all original. Um, everything seems to, it's, because it's very consistent with the keyholes there. So I'd go with that it's, that it is original. Drawers moving, no problem. And it's, the, the bottom drawer is, is uh, the very large drawer. This one is not quite as, these two seem to be the same size. This is a little narrow, uh, shallower. And now for the purposes of this presentation, kept the, uh, the mirror unattached and see old original mirror. There's some issues with the, with the mirror's frame and that you see some cracks and wear right there. It's still been kept together, but it is imperfect as it is. So you may or may or may not choose this to keep um, the mirror on it, or you know make make some other use for this mirror if you like to. Uh, finish on the top of the of the bird's eye chest, place where you see a lot of damage. It's in great shape. So that's what you want to see. You know, a lot of barks, a lot of things like that. Somebody's left scratches. None of that. So you're really just going to have to um, be pleasantly surprised when you when you bring it into your bring it into the master bedroom. Show you the piece. It's physical space. You know, it's a heavy chest. A lot of space. Just a big, strong, heavy chest. Um, the side here. It's a. So it's a. Strong, heavy bird's eye maple board. You can see the dovetailing on all the drawers. Plus, what's really important on a chest like this is that when you push it in, because of the shape, that you get that shape very easily by pushing it in rather than one drawer 
having to kind of wiggle it and get it so it goes too far. It happens all the time. Condition of the back. And here was the original manufacturer's sticker. At least you know where it was, but the only thing that's left is the O1 company. Uh, 100 year old label is uh, tough to keep. Um, on the right side here, there's a little, there is some, some finished wear. Still, though, the piece it's strong, it's sturdy. If you did want to sand it down, you know, you could, but um, you can see the bird's eye still is um, it's evident throughout um, the side panel. Take a quick look at the top. And this is a heavy cabinet. The finish on the top is just very, very nice. So you know, it's a heavy chest. For that reason, the shipping may be a little bit more than what it would be for perhaps a slightly smaller or lighter cabinet, but you get the space savings at the high boy and that's what makes high boys just so popular. Any questions? Send us an email. You'll you'll really appreciate it. Do what I can to, to help you out and um, getting this to you, make arrangements with shipping companies. They'll talk to us and come into the shop and look at it after it's been packaged and and then You'll make the arrangements for payment through there. It's very, very easy. Um, so buying online, buying antique furniture online is the easiest here than any other website.